Welcome back Copic fans. For Copic in the craft room today we're going to look at one last holiday kind of group of stamps. The technique I'm using today though, because this video might hit before or after Christmas Day, um, the technique I'm using though is one that you can use year round and I think it's a good one to know about with our Copic ink and Copic um, use. I have I am using a group of stamps from this My Favorite Things group. These are um, holiday, holiday Subway Art and all this is is lines of script or um, print. They're done in different fonts and you can use them individually as a single line or you can stack them kind of in a Subway Art looking fashion. What I've done is I set my um, acrylic block, which is a little bit bigger, on top of something that has a graph. So I could even do it on like a craft mat like this. And I lined up my stamps. So I have a whole series of them. Flip it over and you can see a little bit better what I've got going. Um, but what I want to show you today is how you can actually use your Copic ink to stamp with. So instead of using a block, we're going to use Copic inks. Now, I know with a watercolor marker you can do this as well, or one that's water-based, and all you do is you color on the ink and then you do what's called huffing, where you kind of take that deep breath and put some hot air on that ink and it re-liquefies it and you can stamp with that. Because Copic is alcohol-based, that doesn't work. You can't just huff or get that warm, damp breath on there and re-do it. So, I'm going to show you how to do that today with this. There's a couple options and what I'll do is I'll run it through two or three times on some different papers so you can see what that looks like and I'll let you go from there. So this should be fairly short and sweet. So one option is truly just to color right on and this option I'd have to do this in sections. I couldn't do it all at once. So I'm going to get my paper right beside me and ready and I'd start at the top this one I am coloring with a YG06 going right across coloring right on top flipping that stamp over stamping lifting up and I'm going to get a very light impression of that ink now I can see all the the marks they're not super dark but I can see them I come down to the next line which is believe and this time I'm going to use an R24. Again, I'm coloring right on top. I could use either my chisel or my brush. I kind of like the brush because I feel like it gets into some of those details. Goes really fast. Go over it once, come back over really quickly, flip that stamp over. I'm going to line it up as best I can with my top one. Press and lift. So you can see what that's doing. It's going to stack those right on top of each other. I'll show you. This is one where I did kind of line by line. Same effect. It does leave it almost with a distressed look. There were a couple places on these wider letters where because it's such a quick process and you do have to be fast it actually pulled a little tiny piece of paper up on one of those um, more block like letters but you get the idea I get kind of a neat effect with a bigger stamp like this where I've got all these different lines I have to do it one line at a time I can't get them all wet at once I'd rather get them all stamped at once though so in order to do that you're going to need your markers you're going to need your stamp, you're going to need your paper, but then you're also going to need um, a spray bottle or mister filled with Cop Copic Colorless Blender. So I've got my bottle, I have all of this ready to go, and I'm going to run through and get this stamped. So I'm going to start at the top and I'm literally just working my way down. Um, through all of those bands of color. I did kind of a, an ombre effect with the colors. I started with light green and lighter reds and then went down through darker, so each one's different. That first stamp was on the Express paper. The second was on Yupo, um, kind of translucent paper. 
Notice I didn't re-ink the stamp for the second stamp. I'm re-inking again, spritzing, stamping, spritzing, stamping, and I literally spritz a third time and stamp a third time lining up with my original. So you can see it actually is a very fast process. Um, I appreciate that I'm going to speed this up and so it's hard to tell, but I've literally done one, two, three, four, five. I've done five stamps um, in about two minutes, maybe, maybe probably less probably closer to a minute um, now it does give on some of these a little bit more of a watercolor effect like down into some of those more solid stamps there's places where it doesn't stamp as well and then I come back and it stamps better and this was the third time I had sprayed it so I can actually get multiple stamps out of one inking um, I only recolored the stamps kind of one time in the middle. So I did five prints, only inking the stamp twice. One thing I wanted to try is some of these dried, and obviously they're going to dry very fast because it's my Copic ink. So this one actually turned out really clear. I can read all of that. I can see the lettering. And of course, I think this was... Let's see, this was my last one, and again, I can read those. This is on my standard Copic Express, or the sorry, Express Blending Card. You can see where this one did a little bit of a shadow, possibly, because this is the one I started with and was doing those individual lines. Um, but these two are on the Express. Um, this is on the Upo, some, um, similar to one of the cards I did with the poinsettias. This is um, the same one, kind of their white watercolor paper. They also have what's called a translucent or transparent, I think it's translucent paper, and that's what this is. It looks like um, a vellum is what the best description I have. And because of that slick surface on all three of these, it ends up looking a lot more watercolor-like. And on, on this one, these in particular, actually all three, I've really lost the Christmas, um, the word Christmas altogether. And even some of this above isn't as clear as I like it to be. So I'm going to come back in with a multi-liner and just do some outlining. I'm not looking for perfection here. It's a doodling. And so I'm going to just see how that works. So I could go in and add more doodling onto that. You can get a good feel for what that looks like, but defines those edges, gives you an idea. But I wanted to show you that you can stamp with your Copic inks and it will show up. Um, it just takes one extra step in some cases, or you can have it looking a little bit less wet and you can stamp them kind of one line at a time or one smaller section of a stamp at a time. You could do one color. As long as you have a clear acrylic block, you can reline it up as you go. So I hope you are having a wonderful December. And as if you're watching this in December and that you're moving on and having a great new year. Have a happy, colorful week.